Uh, thanks for joining us for another Flip Chart Friday here at Sequus. Uh, my name is Noah, and today we've got a little bit shorter video for you, but it's something that's really, really useful. Just a little pro tip for you. Um, and it's centered around Google My Business listings uh, and what to do if you have multiple listings or if you have duplicate listings. You know, uh, it, to some people, it's, it's kind of surprising that, you know, random listings can just kind of show up on Google, uh, but, but it really happens all the time. And, and if you've watched any videos we've done before, you know that Google, above anything, likes to see that consistency um, in the name and the address, the phone number, uh, the website, uh, and the hours of your business. And, and if you've got a bunch of different information out there, especially you know different information on multiple profiles in Google, uh, we want to just help you figure out how to get those taken care of, get them merged, get that incorrect information off of Google, so that when your customers are looking for your business, that they're just seeing the actual location that one listing that's truly you guys. They get to see all the awesome reviews you've gotten and really just make sure that you know they're calling the right place. So like I kind of already alluded to, Google loves consistency. They like to see that your name is this here, it's here. Your name is the same as it is on Google, as it is on your website, as it, as it is on Facebook, as it is on your, your Yext or your Yelp or, or whatever it is listing that you have out there. That name, the address, and the phone number, that NAP. Um, so, if, if you're wondering, you know, I really don't know if I have multiple listings or duplicate listings out there, there's an easy way for you to figure out. So, a quick action for you to take, Google your name, Google your business, and, and just put it in the search bar, and then look for what pops up. Um, is, is the knowledge card on the right side? Is, is that the, the correct you know, knowledge card for your business that shows your images, that shows your name, that shows your address? Make sure that's consistent. And, and then click on the maps as well and see, do you have multiple you know, listings? You know, if you've moved locations in the past you know, few years, you'd be surprised. You, know, they might, you might have just a, an old listing out there with incorrect information. And, and you know, Google sees that as you know, them kind of fighting each other and trying to figure out which one's the right one and, and which one you know, is is old. So do a quick search and, and if you're just seeing one listing for your business on there, then congratulations, you're good, you're, you're set. Uh, but if you're seeing multiple or duplicate listings, um, there are a few actions that you can take to, to get rid of those. So that, that, main, that main Google email that you use to log into you know, your business, to check your business email, the, to look and see uh, if you're doing anything in analytics or AdWords, that's also the same email that you can use to log into your Google My Business listing. Uh, now, when you get in there, uh, you're able to, to really adjust an, anything that you want to within that and request Google adjust anything that you want to within that listing. Um, but if you're seeing duplicate listings, if you're, you know, if you're seeing multiple listings that are showing you know, similar addresses or the same address or, or the same phone numbers, um, and you want to make sure that you, know, you just see one for the actual you know, location that you have, uh, just one correct listing for your business, then you can ask Google to merge those within your Google My Business account. Uh, and if you're seeing incorrect or, or rogue listings out there, uh, whether it's for an old uh, location or whether it's just a, a listing out there that has your name on it that doesn't, doesn't include anything else, you can request that Google get rid of those. Um, one from within your Google My Business um, account, or when you go search your business profile and, and you, you see like your knowledge card on the right hand side, there's a little button that you can request edits or, or let Google know that this place is closed down and, and it's no longer um, a location. And, and, and if you guys have any questions about you know, how to do that, where to find that within the account, uh, we're here as a resource to help out with that, and we would love to give you some insight into how to do that. Now, when you're in your Google My Business account, and, and even if you're just looking at your knowledge card and your listing on the right-hand side, there's a few things that I want you to check out and make sure are correct. Uh, we've already covered that, that name, the address, and the phone number. That, that's really big. Uh, but what about your website URL? There, there's a place in your listing for, for a customer to be able to click that link and go straight to your site. And, and, and if you're not taking advantage of that, then, then really you're, you're missing out on visits to your site and missing out on, on revenue. Uh, why wouldn't you give that person the opportunity to, with the click of a button, visit your site, get in front of your brand and give them a chance to convert? Uh, also, make sure that you check the hours uh, that are listed on there as well. Uh, you want to let someone know if you're open or not, and then also be able to, you know, if they're searching for a plumber near me that's open or anything like that, Google's starting to take those factors into account now, and, and if your hours aren't listed or they're incorrect hours, then, then you might be losing out on, you know, um, impressions, just eyes on, 
on your site, which, which again, leads straight to a decrease in revenue and just missing out on new customers in your area. Make sure that you have images that are uploaded, you know, of your current location. Um, make sure that you're continuously just adding new ones. Uh, Google loves to see that you're staying active within any of its tools. Uh, but again, what we're doing here, when you're looking at that knowledge card, when you're looking at your listing, just confirm that all that information is correct. Even if your name is right, even if the address is right, just take a few extra seconds and confirm the rest of this stuff because it really does make a big difference. The last thing we want is for a customer to click on a, on a phone number to call you and it be the wrong phone number because I, I don't know about you guys, but if it's me, when I call someone and there's a number out of service, I assume that business is out of service and I'm not going to be trying to reach out to you again. And, and a lot of the times when, when your knowledge card or your business listing is coming up, you know, people might be searching for your name specifically, not just looking for an, a plumber in my area or AC repair or electrical repair in my area. And, and if they're looking for you specifically and your name isn't correct, your information isn't correct, again, then you lost out on that customer. Um, you know, in, in short, that, that's really what we have to talk about today. And, and it might seem like something small, but trust us when we say that there are few things that are more important than having accurate information on file with Google. Uh, we know that you know we work so hard um, in, 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 in your businesses and, and businesses all around the country to make sure that we're, we're playing Google's game, that we're updating our strategies to make sure that we're ranking well. And, and it's just as equally important to make sure that when people are searching for your name or searching for, for services, especially home services in your area, that you have accurate information showing up so that they can contact you without any problem and be confident that they are contacting the right company. Uh, if you guys have any questions about how to edit this information or change settings within your Google My Business profile, uh, we've said it a, a thousand times before and, and we really mean it. We're here as a resource to help you out. Uh, if you have any questions at all, you can reach out to us in the comments below. Feel free to private message us or direct message us um, or, or reach out to us however you feel most comfortable. Um, we're always here to help out uh, business owners in this industry. So uh, thank you for joining us today, guys. Hope you have a fantastic weekend, and we will see you next Friday for another episode of Flip Chart Friday.